Okay, so let's investigate this in more detail because there's no way that if we found a bug like this in the real world where I've put in a counter string that is 100 characters and it says it's 128, if I just go screenshot, there's a bug, we'd get away with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to investigate this a little bit, or I'm going to investigate this a little bit. So just to repeat what's happened, in GitHub, if I use my counter string, put in 100 characters, say search in this repository, it says we could not perform the search because the search is longer than 128 characters. Okay, so I'm pretty confident that I only put in um, 100, 100 characters. So I'm going to take the string that I put in, go up to the console, there's the string, dot length, 100 characters. So I'm fairly confident that what I put in there. But we have risks, where every time we use a tool, we have to consider, is it the tool that has caused this problem? Because right, what the tool does, the tool um, injects that value into the field. It doesn't type it in, it doesn't copy and paste it, it injects it as the value. So maybe we can get a different result if I actually do copy and paste it. Control V, search, same result. So at this point, I'm getting more confident that it's not my tool. Still not completely convinced, right? Maybe it's the, the way that we're doing this. Maybe it's the counter string itself, right? Because the counter string has asterisks. It's not a normal search. Maybe what if I do file, replace, asterisk. Oh, some regex, that's why. Regular expression, no. So it's going to match all those. Replace it with space, replace all. So now I've got this. So this is a counter string without um, asterisks. So it's spaces. So it's more like what we would put in. And um, the search might even trim this off. Search. So I think I might have broken the search button. Search button doesn't seem to be responding at this point. Not sure why that is. So we've got a secondary thing we might need to investigate. So if I hit return, that worked. So now we've got a different type of issue, right? It may not be the length completely that is the problem because the length there um, is the same length that we put in, but here it's got pluses in it. Previously it was asterisks. Maybe um, let's try 128. So I'm going to say generate counter string 128. Let me put this in here, find, replace, place asterisk with that. And this is the 128th character. So I'm just going to put a dot in there. Paste this in. So that is a, let's just double check. <clears throat> I like being a little bit paranoid. Dot length, 128, search. Okay, we're still broken the search button. But if I hit return, and so that found it. So if I do one more character, it should be over the 128. And that's okay. <laughs> so what is the error message actually talking about? So that search is longer than 128 characters because it's got Ds. That search is longer than 128 characters. So I think there is a problem here about um, calculating characters. And remember, this is doing a search within the repository. There are other ways of doing search in here. Is the search button working again? Nope, still broken the search button. Get rid of the Ds, it's okay. What if I put another dot in there? Oh, so when it says 128, what it means is something else. So that's 129 characters, which is over 128. And this That's okay. 
So that's okay. I thought I'd just search for that. Dot again. Okay. The length of that is. Hundred and thirty. So we're, I'm getting different results here, but I'm fairly convinced at this point that it's not my tool. Right? I've de-risked my tool. So I'm convinced that we've got an issue here. But what I'm interested in is if I copy and paste this, because that that was currently failing. Let's get this bigger. In fact, let me just go straight to the repository. Now if I put this in the search string here. It says I can search in this repository, so I'm going to do that again. I'm expecting to see this to say no, because that's too big. No, that's too big. Great. If I go back to the repository again. Search. Now we've been, I can search in all of GitHub, so let me have a look. So that's interesting in that the search has different limits in different places, or currently that's what I'm seeing. So. I'm tempted, can it, does the button work here? No, so I've, I've broken the search button or the search button doesn't work, I don't know what it is. Maybe the search button needs me to have hit a key. No, okay. So I'm gonna try a counter string in here. Now this, um, let's do counter string of 100. I'll keep hitting the button. Return, that's okay. What is the counter string in here? I'm gonna say 255. Because now that I've, um, as far as I'm concerned, de-risked the tool, I'm happy using the tool again. So 255 is still working. Now, that's interesting. Because I'm pretty sure that what I'm typing in is not matching here. So I'm wondering if it's got some sort of regex in there. Perhaps the asterisk is being treated as a regex. That would almost make sense. Perhaps the dot is treated as a regex for any character. Maybe I should replace this with a non regex character. So replace asterisk with hyphen, replace all. Okay, so maybe <laughs> so I'm not exactly sure what the so I'm not exactly sure what the GitHub search is, but we know that we've got an issue on the uh, let's go back to the repository search. Keep using the counter string one. Let me paste that in in this repository. Good up research greater than 128, which is okay. So, what is happening here? What I don't know is what is being sent down the line. I can see what's happening on screen. I'm pretty convinced there's an issue. I don't think it's my tool that's causing it. So, let me have a quick look in the network tab. So let me just clear that and put the character string back in, generate character string 100. So we've got the asterisks back. This is what was causing us a, an issue in the first place. And click search, no traffic. Uh, is everything on? Let me not hide data URLs. Cache, that's fine. Search, nothing happening. Go to hit return. So it's done the search. There we go. Response. Has that got 128 in it? Control F128. Search is longer than 128. So this is the thing. So it looks like it's doing a get. A get. Um, and it's put them in the query string. Okay. But somehow that on the back end is being treated as... Um, bigger than 128, but we saw mixed results depending on the data we're putting in. So when we're doing testing, we have to decide, well, how deep do I want to go in this? How much of this is it worth my time investigating? And how much of this is it worth just passing on to someone else to investigate? So we have a repeatable string here. We have a, or we had, I've just deleted it. That's not very good, is it? So let me get that back. So I think it was 128. and replace that with spaces. 
Then it was 128, 129, broken. Let's just try that. Just to recreate. So there we go. So that's it encoded with spaces, different length, different results. So it'd be interesting to, because there's really no difference conceptually in my head to those, but perhaps when it's going through the um, search process internally, it does some uh, replacements. Perhaps it ignores spaces. Perhaps spaces don't count. Perhaps dots. Go, perhaps there's something else going on under the covers. But let's have a quick look in uh, Burp because I've been putting this stuff through the um, proxy. So if I can find the searches. So here's a search that's put in the 128 with the spaces. So what I can do is I can actually go into the repeater here and I can edit these requests in here. Because what I'm interested in is, well, what happens if I, I change this a little bit? So that's a search count query. That's not the right search. In fact, I'll just do it again. Then we'll get it. Burp suite. Search. UTF-8, okay. So that is the query that we're looking for. And this returns with the 128 in it. Try to scroll with the scroll wheel, it's not working in the Java app. Uh, da, da, da. This search is longer 128. So I can send this request to the repeater and I can do a little bit more investigation in here. So that's currently um, 130, go, that's 129. Couldn't find anything. So that one worked fine. So if I put this back so it doesn't work. Right, so we've got different criteria. I can see it's coming in the get request. I'm absolutely convinced it's nothing to do with my tool it's not even related to the the front end parsing of this this is a back end issue and i could even put counter strings in here let me do that generate counter string 100 copy paste that put this in here send that and the response we got back is 128. We could not perform this search. Let's drop it down. So the interesting thing is, why is this being interpreted as more than 128? Because then when we dropped it down to uh, 96, that was failing because the thing that we got through was 95. So we've zapped that down to 95. Let's just double check. Ninety-five. Send that through at this level. That worked. I'm just going to put a six in there. So now it's ninety-six characters, and that failed. So we know there's a combination of. Um, when it's spaces, we get different lengths. When it's asterisks, we get different lengths. We could theorize all we want about this, but we've demonstrated a particular get request. We could probably even convert this into curl if we wanted to um, look down and see what the issue is or to make it easy to replicate. But I'm convinced it's not my tool. It's not the front end. It's a back end response. How it's interpreting this query string don't think it's anything to do with the referrer. So we've got an issue in there and it's changeable depending on what data is in there, not the actual length, not the, not the complete length. The length varies based on the values that are in there. So it's an interesting um, issue, but 
we've now investigated it down to the point where we've got enough evidence, and I would have been collating this evidence as I've gone through if it was proper exploratory testing. I've been writing down the um, values that have been put in and the observations. But because I'm recording it, all that information is in here. So that I find that interesting, but there's not any real value in me going any further because anything I do at this point is hypothesis and because we've got two replicable situations with different data sets showing different lengths being interpreted in different ways. So I just wanted to show a little bit of how we look at defects in a little bit more detail so we don't just stick at the surface layer. We have to convince ourselves that there's a problem and narrow it down to a more reportable and repeatable and demonstrable um, defect.